If you could describe your style in three words, what would they be? Bold, colorful, and playful. <laughs> Super. My name is Awo Konate, and my brand is Yao's Creations. So I started with one tailor working from home. So I'll do the designs and the tailor will do the tailoring by putting the pieces together. And then I will go from door to door to sell. We had like a like garbage storage in front of my house. It wasn't cool to be in the front of the house to start with. And so I asked my parents if I could use it for my showroom. And that's where we started as our first showroom. That was different from what the normal customs or norms of doing things in the Gambia is. A lot of people didn't even think I was Gambian because I was doing contemporary African wear. So the tourists loved what I was doing from the onset. The Gambian market is very small. Uh, we don't have a culture where people go out and buy, you know, like when you go to other African countries or in Europe where people are just happy to go out shopping. And so it's a struggle, to be honest. So for me, going to Liverpool and having the chance to meet potential sponsors or partners or buyers that we could supply to, to make our business grow more is an amazing step. So I'm really grateful to you for that. In our DNA, our other thing apart from just producing quality stuff is to empower the youth. So what I do in terms of youth empowerment is doing um, events wherein they come and showcase their talent, like talent shows. I go to schools um, from time to time where we talk about self-esteem, being confident and believing in themselves and realizing their talents. You know, I also open my doors to internships. So when they come in, they also train us to how to do quality sewing. By the completion of the one year, they, they do sew like the professional tailors would. And right now, Gambia is at a level wherein the youths are eager and hungry to be successful or to be um, job creators or job developers, or you know, just to help develop our country.